Hi friends, I'm Shauna. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video. Today we are finally getting back or updating on the 100 uses project pin. I know, I know it's been a hot minute. I know we're like two ish months late, but better late than never. So we're here and there's actually a lot to update you on. There's a lot of progress. Some of this I'm very proud and we're going to have a lot of fun roll-ins. So this is going to be a great video and I've chosen these products strategically to carry me through summer. In this video, I am partnering with Teddy Blake to let you know about their semi-annual sale, which is going on right now. Teddy Blake was featured on the channel back in February. Teddy Blake is a US based handbag company and they offer affordable luxury. So with them, you do get that luxury bag, that luxury experience without that incredible markup of, of a label. And this has been my experience too, which is why I'm so excited to bring you their sale. I got my bag and this is the Bella Pomoletto bag. This is the blue color, nine inches. I got this back in February and everything I just said has been true. This bag has held up incredibly. I know we're a few months in, but this is my everyday bag. I wanted a bag for spring and summer. I wanted that pop of color. And this is this has truly been great. It's, yeah, just especially given how much I wear. I'm gonna insert some photos of, of outfits I've worn with this over the past few weeks. I mean, can you tell <laughs> that this is my everyday bag? I wear my bag so much and actually more than I thought that I would. And, and I can't speak of them more highly. If you've been interested in the Bella Pomoletto bag or, you know, getting something new for your wardrobe and a new everyday bag, your semi-annual sales is perfect time to do it because you can get up to 70% off. The sale is running from, you know, before this video actually goes live until the 18th. So you have time to look around and to consider your purchase. So, you know, no impulse buying there. You can sit on it for a little bit and have some time to decide. Now, if you happen to catch this video after the 18th, you can use my code Shauna30 to get $30 off your purchase at Teddy Blake. Now let's get into the updating. All right, my dudes, we are going to start off with least amount of update. We'll go on from there. So, okay, the first thing I wanna get out of the way is my pink lipstick, that red lipstick that's been in here forever. I can't find it. I don't know where it is and I think I've been moving around like all my furniture and also there was a makeup declutter a little while ago. I think it got lost in the shop. Like I think it's probably, I don't know, in a closet trapped under a, a desk or something. Either way, I think I used it once. It hasn't been getting a lot of use and I didn't realize I had lost it until recently and it's not with any of my makeup. So we're just going to roll something in its place. I do love that color and I'm not ready to get rid of it, but if I can't find it, I'm not going to force it. And I just haven't been wearing it like I wanted to. So I think it's just time to move on. And in its place, I'm going to roll in something kind of boring, but hopefully you'll, you'll see why later. I have this rosebud self. Now, I forgot that I had this. Here's what we're looking like right now. I got two of these. I got one in a tube that I finished up in 2020, and then I got this one. This has been in my desk for just about that time, and I totally forgot that I owned it. I've moved twice. It always surprises me when I move, and I don't know that I own something. Like, you packed it up, homie. So we're going to put this in. And because I don't love this, I actually hated panning the previous item. We're gonna do this for 50 uses. And then if I build some momentum, I'll keep it in. If not, then I'll roll it out at that time. The Charlotte Tilbury eyeshadow is next. Before this update, I had used it nine times. I used it 14 times in this update and it brings my total to 23. Now my goal was 25. So we're almost there and I could, I could roll it out, but Here's what happened. I didn't use this for a stretch. And then I used it a couple of times. Well, not a couple, a handful. And I was, I was convinced I was going to declutter it. And I was mentally preparing 
to ask Lara if she wanted this. So after that little break, I pulled it out again and I compared it with another color that I uh, I have. I think it's the it's a Revlon color. And I, you know, did one on each. I did that a couple of days and then I used this alone and I realized that I do really like this when I have a tan. So we're going to keep her in for the summer. And there are ways that I like to wear this that look cute. And we're going to keep going. So here's what it's looking like. Will it look any different from the previous update? I'm not sure, but I feel like I see a difference in it. We're getting a good dent in there. So we're going to keep going with her. Now, next up is my hourglass shadow. And the goal of this was 50 uses. I have surpassed that. We're at 54. Just letting you know. And here's what we're looking like now. I love, I love this, this color. I really do. Look at her. When you see the photos, I think you'll notice a big difference. I use this all of the time. All of the time. It's my everyday go-to shade. I actually think that it might be more than 54. I probably didn't count every single use because I use it so much. This is the default. This is what I'm using almost every day. I was debating whether to keep this in or not. I wasn't sure because I do love it and it's been a, a real favorite of mine, but it's been in basically since the beginning and we're going to, we're going to try and work on something else that is similar enough that I'll be able to get the effect that I want. So coming in, in the new 50 uses place, like we're doing a one for one swap is a little quirky. Here's what we're looking like now. We already have pan and this is in much more of a, a need to finish. I think it's been in a project game before. This is going to dry out if I don't use it. The hourglass shade will be fine. So this is much more pressing and hopefully it'll be a good time and it'll look similar. And I'll just, I'm just like really feeling my feelings about leaving the hourglass, getting rid of the hourglass shadow because I just like that particular product. But I know once I use this one a couple of times, I'll be like, yeah, it's great. I don't know what I was upset about. So there we go. All right. Next up is my lip liner. Okay, here's what we're looking like. I'm gonna be strategic here. That's a big dip, y'all. So we're at about 30 uses, 29. We're getting there. We're close to the 50. Well, not close. We're getting there. And that was a that was a big dip. That was the biggest use today. I used it 14 times this past update. It was gonna say month, but this past update. Next up was a new roll in the last update and it was my Tarte blush. So here's what we're looking like. We have flattened it somewhat. I used it 26 times and we, we still have quite a bit to go. Like we're about halfway there. So we're going to keep going and this is going to be a great color for summer and it will pair well. I think with the other projects, other products in this project and also for my main project pan. For the lip gloss, y'all, I, I rolled in the lip trick gloss last month. To, can You can see that, not last month, last update, you can see, like we have scraped the sides. Yes, I made a mess around the tube, but like we're empty. You can see that we're empty. I was not expecting to finish this in one update. Kind of shocking. And I'm going to keep this out for a little bit because, you know, I can use the stuff around the sides and it's going to be fine. But we're going to rule this out. I used this. I lost count after 94. So I think we for sure got over the 100 or I believe we got over the 100 use mark. And I know that I didn't catch every use. And it's kind of exciting that I get to roll this out like a lip gloss is done. And I wasn't expecting to pan it overall and so quickly. So we're going to keep up the momentum and we're going to add in this lip gloss. 
why the heck not, you know? It's a little bit darker than the other one, so I think it's much better for summertime. It'll look more of a tan, it'll look a little bit nicer, and I'm excited about that. So that's another rollout or like roll in. Like that's a like that's a panned product. And I don't put any items in here to pan them. It's mostly just to use it up. So I'm excited about that. And even like the lip liner, that's such a big progress for me. All right, we're gonna go to the lipstick next, the MAC lipstick. So the combined total of my MAC lipstick I have in Blankety, you're gonna be shocked. It's 126 times. She's like really small. And let me show you what she's looking like. You're gonna be shooketh. Okay, look at, just look at that dip. Wild. And we're measuring from the tallest point. Look at that. That's incredible. I'm so excited about this. And that's a, that, that's a rollout. We're gonna use this opportunity of it being summer to roll back in a project or product that has been in the project previously. Oh my God, this is a mess. And listen, it needs, <laughs> if it's not gonna be used up in the summer, I don't know when it will. Just look at this, it's a hot mess. This is my Revlon lipstick. This is the 14 Glitter and Coral. You know the, the lipstick. This is popular everywhere in 2020-ish. I'm going to have to show you a photo. I'm not going to put it on the card now just because it is broken. Can we see that? Oh yeah, it's broken. So I got to be very careful. So we're just going to measure it one time. The goal of this is going to be a hundred uses, just like the lipstick. And I'm very excited about that. I have a feeling that we can pan it this summer. Like, I'm not rolling this one in to pan it. I'm not rolling in anything else or keeping anything else here with the Express Gold panning it, except for that. Another boring update before we get to the palette. The Brow Wax. Let me talk about that for a hot second. That product, I love it. I truly do. And we're not going to focus on it simply because this guy exists. And I think I said in another, my previous video, that we're not going to put this in a project pan because... I only have one left. I completely forgot that I had the brow wax and I didn't use it all that much for this project, not because I forgot about it, just forgot about it in that update, but because I've been wanting to finish my brow products so bad that I've just been focusing on them. So I think the goal is really just to finish this up and see how quickly we can use it so then I can use something I actually like. And I do really like the Patrick Top Brow Wax significantly more than this anyways. And I just like the product. Yeah, I like the product in general. So we're gonna throw this in and we're gonna see how many uses it takes to finish it up. When I, hold on, when I squeeze out the product, so this is squeezy too. Like, lots of product comes out. It's just feeling kind of empty and maybe a little bit dry. It says it's six month shelf life and I've had it for a year. So we're gonna work on this and I don't know how much, how long this will take. And this one does belong in my opinion. The reason why I'm putting it in this project is because I wanna count the uses and this is the, the project where we're doing it. So that's the official roll in to the palette. This guy has been used a ton. We have surpassed our uses significantly. Can you tell? I don't know. But it's time to roll this out. Like you've been in here for a hot minute and it's summertime. Also, by the way, this shade right here has a huge dent in it. Can you see? I don't really use up matte shades. I don't know if I've ever panned a matte shadow before. And this is not pant, but the fact that it's such a big dip is crazy. And it's time, it's time to roll it out. We got our uses worth. So now what are I rolling in this place? I thought about this a lot. 
okay, I thought about I thought about this long and hard, y'all. I was just staring at my makeup drawers and I was like, hmm, which one do I do? Which one do I do? I had two options, okay? I really considered my Tartlet and Bloom palette because it's the oldest of the two that I'm considering. You know what she looks like. This is more on the cool tone side. Doesn't it really match? Like, okay, I do love a cool tone. We know that. But my everyday makeup look that I've been working with has been warm tone. And when I look at and when I look at everything else in here, I mean this was cool tone, but it's gone now. Most things are warm tone. This is still cool, but most things are warm tone. And even the other project, warm tone. So I think the better of the two options is going to be my 3CE palette. It's more on the warm side. Yeah, I think I think that's just the play. The goal is to use it 50 times, just like all the other palettes. I mean, this time we used it, hold on. I've used this 75 times, by the way, just want to say. So like we blew that goal out of the water and I'm ready to roll this in and we're going to you know, have that 50 uses and hopefully it'll be a fun time. I think this is a, a great one for summer. So that's everything. It was kind of great to see that how much I used this stuff because it was a bit of a, a larger gap between uses. Maybe I just, okay, I wanted this. The reason why I designed this project is every other month is so I wouldn't have too many repeating or multiple videos every month. And also you get that larger time frame to use some of these products that are secondary to the main project pan. I didn't want too much competition. But now I'm like, do I do this every three months? But then that would only be four updates a year. Is that exciting? Do you care three or four months? Let a girl know in the comments what you would prefer and what you thought about this update. That's everything for me today. That's the update. I can't believe we're here at another one. Before we leave that, I want to circle back to Tim Blake and to remember to shop their semi-annual sale, which is going on until June 18th to get up to 70% off. Thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I really appreciate all the time and energy y'all put into this channel, watching it, commenting. I'm really grateful, truly. So thank you once again for watching, hanging out, commenting, liking, subscribing. Uh, I'm glad to have you here. And I hope to see you again here soon.